Hi, for today's tier down, an aircraft part with a particular history background because this uh, precise model of uh, angle of attack sensor from Rosemont Aerospace was involved in a crash in 2008 of an Airbus A320 from uh, XL Airways company the DAXLA aircraft uh, it was uh, a transit flight with no passengers luckily enough so all, uh, there was uh, three or four people on board I believe when it crashed in the water in the Mediterranean Sea it was uh, back from uh, repeating procedure and apparently an improper uh, cleaning of the aircraft after the repainting uh, made the uh, ball bearings in the sensors to freeze with uh, water in them and all the free sensors became defective and it made a chain of events that uh, did uh, cause the crash of the airplane. There is a wall report I will link about this crash. They, did, they do provide uh, photos of uh, recovered probes and uh, cutaways and everything on the report so I cannot uh, publish them because they are uh, copyrighted but I will link the document in the video description or you will, see, you will be able to see so actually there is a maze in here so normally the water cannot go in and uh, watertight bearing but still all uh, three of the probes got stuck because of the cleaning of the aircraft apparently so this uh, is called a vein it will uh, move according to the airflow of the aircraft you have normally three of them on the aircraft two on the one side and one on the other side and it will detect uh, yes your angle of attack so it is uh, moving that far with very hard stop as you can hear and it is heated from the inside for the anti-freeze procedure so I guess this part here should heat also but it was not enough in this situation apparently so here is the manufacturer label for you of this device this one so called part number 08C1ED uh, this model is from 2002, so probably the same batch. Almost of the ones involved in the crash. And quite uh, modern equipment for me, in particular from an airliner. So quite nice. So one connector. I did already loosen it. And two big screws. That will allow to undo the cover here, with, uh, which is uh, after this it is just secured by a seal. There is no screw on the other side, quite weird. So this could be a screw to the fuselage, and there is another uh, plate, I believe, coming over it. We'll just uh, cut out here. So what do we have inside? <coughs> I need to work it loose all the way around a little bit at a time not that easy as you can see but it will come off eventually here we are and I have to drive out this connector so the casing here is just aluminium and here is what we have inside actually quite straightforward almost no electronics just uh, mechanics so you can see the moving part here with a hard stop here you can see there is a some kind of a counterweight part that is hard stopping against aluminium here it is moving together three 
brushless it is called a resolver but they are probably most pro probably transmitter resolver that will uh, transmit the position so uh, three of them so it looks it is a double redundancy in the uh, crash report they say one is not used but seems quite uh, not true to me because they are obviously all uh, wired so maybe one is uh, wired but it is not used after in the system it is not connected to anything quite interesting uh, some uh, big diodes here secured by uh, zip ties I am sure if it is totally original work or not I would have expected a wireless thing like this to keep them in place but it is what it is and we have other devices apparently two uh, electromagnets here that will move those parts and force the vein in a particular position for uh, probably a zero uh, reading to initialize the vein or something like this to do a further uh, readout but it can move in a much uh, larger uh, way so quite weird uh, main connector made by Amphenol the resolver so you can see how nicely made it is this thing very serious structural plates and we have two wires going in the moving part for the heaters so it looks like we will have two heaters in here so if one fails the other one will still be working but they are connected here together on the connector so they are apparently on the same power supply I am checking yes looks like two wires here two wires here so they are connected in parallel so if a su power supply to them fails, they will not hit. I would have expected to have them separate. Two separate power supplies for better redundancy. So very nice mechanical stuff. Uh, very good quality from, uh, as you can expect, from Rosemont Aerospace. But obviously, it was not enough to prevent the crash because of those devices so quite amazing so we have one bearing in here and one other big you can see in here so very nice quality everything but see what it is still involved in a crash okay a beautiful uh, part for my collection because i did not have one of them actually i had one from a mig fighter that i did sell on ebay i might have a teardown of it on my channel it was just uh, working with uh, potentiometers the mig one it is it was not resolvers but this one is top notch quality but still well it happens Mm. Discover. Mm. Okay. So I will put it back together. Here is my, here my current inventory number. And well, you can see it was uh, the anodizing here of aluminium is faded, probably of uh, sunlight in flight. The UV from the sunlight, it is on the top obviously, but not at the bottom. So, pretty aggressive UVs in uh, altitude, probably. That did uh, fade this black anodizing. Quite interesting to notice. On this part, by the way, I believe might be either uh, tungsten or titanium. Seems. Uh, very very 
hard metal, dark grey like this. Yes, good chance it is titanium. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye bye.